Hello, good evening, guys. Thank you so much for being on time. Today, it's, what day it is today, guys? Today is November. November 6th. November 6th, 2023, right? Monday. Very good, very good. Uh, fresh, fresh beginning. Thank you so much for being on time. Welcome, David, Joseph, Derek, uh, Saveda. Who else is here? Thank you, Carla. Thank you, uh, let's see, Claudia and Teresa. All right. So let's uh, let's start the classes now. Let's see. I hope you guys uh, have a, a very, very, very nice uh, weekend, right? You had a very good weekend. Yes or not? Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah, did, you, sure. did, did you eat pupusas so far? Yes. <laughs> very good. Very good. Yes. Excellent. 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 In my class. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Tell me if you are able to see what I'm checking right now. Let's see. Give me one second. Okay. Let's, let me share this. All right. One second, let me share. All right, guys. So now, just uh, let me tell you that we are going to complete. Uh, where we are going to review, you know, the whole uh unit two. All right. So just to double check. All right. But first to the first. Lo primero, lo primero. All right. So we are going to be motivated because without motivation, we cannot do anything. Remember, you need to be happy, not because uh, today is Monday, because today is another day that God already uh, already gave us. Right. So este otro día que nos ha dado Dios para salir adelante. All right. So uh, let's see. Let's repeat motivation, please. Come on, let's go. Motivation. 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 Excellent, excellent. All right, so the quote, the quote for this lovely night, it's the next one, all right? So let me read it for you first, and then you will repeat it with me at the same time, all right? So be there for others, but never leave yourself behind by Don Dinsky. Don Dinsky. Creo que así pronuncia el que lo escribió, ¿verdad? Be there for others, but never leave yourself behind. Let's repeat. Be there for others. Be there for oh. others. But never leave yourself behind. But never leave yourself behind. Very good, Ricky. One more time. Be there for others, but never leave yourself behind. Be there for others, but Be never, there for leave, others, yourself but never leave yourself behind. behind. All, right. All right, others. Acuérdense, others. Si miramos una S, hay que pronunciarla, no, no solo other. Others. 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 Very good. Okay, so ¿qué quiere decir? Que siempre hay que estar ahí para alguien o para otros, ¿verdad? Siempre hay que estar dispu de, de, dispuestos a ayudar, a echar la mano, ¿verdad? A echar la mano. Pero nunca dejar, nunca quedarse usted atrás, ¿verdad? Siempre, siempre estar adelante. Siempre be yourself, uh, but never leave yourself behind. Nunca se, nunca se quede atrás, ¿verdad? A veces uno por quererle ayudar a una persona que tal vez ni lo, ni lo amerita, ¿verdad? No sé, a veces uno se queda atrás, ¿verdad? Pero usted siempre tiene que estar adelante, siempre dándole con todo para que nunca esté desfallezca en sus metas, ¿verdad? Siempre you need to be working on the things that you like, on the things that you want to complete. En las cosas que a usted le gustan, las cosas que quiere completar, ¿verdad? Very good. Tonight, guys, we are going to review uh, three topics so far, right? So, uh, simple present. This is a quick review. A negative and positive statement. And daily routine, simple present as well, okay? So, those are going to be our topics uh for tonight okay let's see but first let me just share the general objective all right the class objective all right so participants will be able to review and practice unit two all right so vamos a estar capacitados ustedes después de la clase para que ya van a poder revisar y practicar con la unidad dos que son los temas que yo le voy a a, a, a dar en, en un momento y el topic que teníamos perdón el 
el class objective de la, de la clase anterior was the, the next one, right? Participants will be able to use have and need to. All right. So now let's see. Let's review this information. Give me one second. Let's see. All right. Let me know if you're able to see everything. All right. Simple present tense forms, right? So remember, simple present would be one of one of the topics that you need to manage, you know, by heart. Este es uno de los temas que usted tiene que manejar así, al one, two, three, como dicen, ¿verdad? Porque son, es el que le va a dar la pauta a usted para poder empezar a, a perdón, a hablar. ¿Verdad? Se ha fiado que a veces nosotros decimos, siempre nos, nos quedamos y decimos, hey, ¿cómo le pregunto? ¿Cómo, cómo, ¿Cómo menciono esto? Entonces, esta es parte de, ¿verdad? Yo creo que usted ya lo sabe. Por ejemplo, en este caso está afirmativo, negativo e interrogativo. Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. All right. So, the, the, the example that we have here says, I drink, that is affirmative. Let's repeat, I drink. I drink. I drink. I drink. You drink. You drink. You drink. You drink. You drink. He, he drinks. He drinks. He drinks. She drinks. She drinks. She drinks. drinks. He drinks. He drinks. Drinks. We drink. We drink. You drink. You drink. They drink. They drink. They drink. drink. They drink. All right. I don't drink. I don't. I don't drink. drink. I, don't drink. I, don't drink. I don't drink. You don't drink. You don't, don't drink. drink. He don't drink. He don't drink. He don't drink. drink. She don't drink. She don't, don't drink. drink. He don't drink. It. He don't drink. He don't drink. Drink. We don't drink. We don't drink. We don't drink. We don't drink. You don't drink. You don't drink. drink. They don't drink. They don't drink. They don't drink. Don't drink. All right, for now, uh, the next example is like, if you are like, uh, I mean, if you want to make a questions, right? So you need to be like, okay, do I drink? I mean, usted dice, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, ¿Cómo hago la pregunta? ¿Verdad? Do I drink? Do you drink? Por ejemplo, cuando le dicen a usted, do you speak English? All right, so what is, what would be your answer? Just a little. So far, so good, right? So a little bit, you know. So, but the answer should be, remember, should be, yes, I do, no, I don't. Yes, I do, no, I don't. Yes, I right. do. Correct. So, yes, I do, no, I don't. All right. So, si yo le pregunto, hey, do you drink? David, do you drink? I don't drink. No, my, my, my pregunta is, do you drink? Do you drink? Yes. Yes, I do, uh, or no, I don't. Yes, I I am, I am I don't drink. You don't drink. Okay, okay. The dance needs, needs to be like this. Yes, I do. No, I don't. All right? Pero yo okay. no me he especificado, ¿verdad? Que, que, que toma, ¿verdad? Este... Yo le pregunto, do you drink? Pero lo que nos viene a la cabeza es que si, si if you drink uh, alcoholic beverage, right? So, si, si eh, bebidas alcohólicas, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es lo que se le viene a la cabeza cuando le dicen a uno eso. Do you drink? Hey, Elmer, do you drink? Yeah, I drink coffee. I drink milk. I drink soda. I drink, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Yeah, I drink soda. I drink water. All right. Well, I, I, I uh -huh. I, I list, I mean, only if I said, hey, do you drink, uh, Elmer, do you drink, you know, wine, red wine, or a beer? No, I don't. Yes, I do. Así, ¿verdad? Pero esa tiene que ser la respuesta. Do you drink? So, oh, usted quiere saber de la, de la, de la, de la nueva compañera, ¿verdad? O del nuevo compañero. Está en una fiesta y te dice, does she drink? Does he drink? No, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. Ella toma? Él toma? All right, so let's repeat. Do I drink? 
Do I drink? Do I drink? Do I drink? Do you drink? Do, Do you, you drink? drink? Does she drink? Does, Does she, drink? she drink? Does he drink? Does, Does he drink? Does he drink? Does he drink? Do we drink? Do, do we, drink? we drink? Do we drink? Do you drink again? Do you drink? Do you do, do you, you drink? drink? Do you drink? Do they drink? Do they do drink? They do they drink? drink? All right. So now let me just pass over here. So if I ask you, uh, William, tell me a sentence where you apply simple present. What will be your your sentence? Mm, with simple present. Simple present, yes. Um, I love soccer. I love soccer, right? I love soccer. Hold on. Big mistake over here. I love soccer. All right, so I love soccer. Yeah, okay. So, ¿qué le pusiera, pudiéramos poner más para que se haga más, o sea, más completa la oración? No sería mejor decir, uh, digo yo, ¿verdad? En este caso. I like to play soccer every day. Ya sé. Y sabiendo que a usted, usted le, le encanta, le, le encanta el fútbol, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Usted dice, I like to play soccer every day every days all right so si ustedes se fijan acá mis uh, mis estimados lleva subject verb and complement right Thank so you. entonces cuál es el simple present tal vez para unos yo entiendo que cuando empezamos a hablar inglés los términos gramaticales nos cuesta. Nos cuesta porque nos cuesta y nos cuesta. Aunque ya sepamos unas palabritas, pero usted dice, me está hablando del simple presente, pero ¿cuál es el simple presente? ¿Cuál es el futuro? O sea, todavía tenemos ese, esa, ¿cómo se llama? Esa burbujita, ¿verdad? Que andan así, eh, así en nuestra pantallita, ¿verdad? Y que, que se andan apareciendo, las cuales no concretamos, ¿verdad? Le digo porque esto me pasaba a mí. Me imagino que a usted le pasa también cuando yo le digo, hey, uh, Elmer, tell me a sentence um, with simple past. No hemos visto ese tema, pero tal vez tiene una idea, ¿verdad? Y le digo, tell me a sentence mm -hmm. a, a, applying simple past. Go ahead, Elmer. Pues, yeah, um, en inglés solo son dos, dos, dos tiempos, ¿verdad? Presente y... No, o... Uh, no, siempre es presente, futuro y pasado. pasado. Correcto. Lo que yes. tenemos es el que nosotros decimos él, ellos. Eso es lo que no tiene español con inglés, ¿verdad? Es que hay algo que nosotros tenemos en español que en inglés no lo tiene. Mm -hmm. Bueno, la verdad que es, es similar porque si usted se fija, si yo digo, uh, yo juego... Uh, balón pie, ¿verdad? Balón pie. No sé si, si se escribe. Sí, balón, balón pie. Bueno, balón pie todos los días. Si usted se acuerda, este aquí hay un, hay un sujeto, hay un verbo y está el predicado, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. eh, lo que no a veces nos. Eh, Tratando de captar su, su, su comentario, Adriana, este, hay cositas que sí no las tenemos o no tiene el inglés, pero es similar, 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 sí lo es. Porque si usted se fija, usted, aquí hay verbo, hay sujeto y hay complemento al que nosotros le llamábamos o le, o le llamamos predicate, right? el predicado, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. El complemento de la oración. Entonces, uh, siempre va a haber presente, pasado y futuro. Eso es por ley. Ya sea en español, en inglés, siempre está. ¿Verdad? Entonces yo le preguntaba a mi estimado Elmer. Elmer, tell me a sentence mm -hmm. in past. In past, ok. I ate pupusa yesterday. Excellent. I ate pupusas 
yesterday with my family. With my family. With my family. Uh -huh. All right, so, entonces, ¿qué cambió aquí? Porque es pasado, cambió el verbo, ¿verdad? Cambió yes. el verbo. All right, so, y como está hablando de, del pasado, ¿cuándo fue el pasado? Ayer, ¿verdad? O sea, mm -hmm. y él dice que I ate pupusa yesterday with my family. All right, so, uh, let's see. No sé si es que está, quedó claro ese, ese comentario, mi estimada Diana, o tiene alguna otra duda respecto a lo que me comentó. No okay. comprendí. ¿Mande? No comprendí. Ok, 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 perfecto, perfecto. Mm -hmm. perfecto. All right, so. Que casi, que casi igual que el español, dice de la manera simple, sí hay tres tiempos que dice ella, pero en total son más de doce tiempos. Exacto, exacto. Pero ahí, lo, lo, ahorita como si nos, si nos vamos a, a desglosar ese, esos puntos que usted acaba de mencionar, le digo mm -hmm. de que nos vamos, a, nos vamos a confundir al 100 uh -huh. y no vamos a, o sea, nos vamos a disolucionar, no vamos a querer después saber nada de eso, porque ahorita es lo bueno que usted lleve paso a paso, ¿verdad? Aunque ya, ya uno de ustedes ya sepa, if you already know, if you already know the, I mean, if you already know the, the topics, simple present, simple past, simple future, that's good, that's good. But now we are reviewing and as Elmer mentioned, right? So we have, uh, I mean, more, more information about the topics that we are talking about. Tenemos más información de los temas que estamos hablando. Y infinidad que nos quedamos. Y como le digo, hasta uno de maestros se queda así, Dios mío, todo esto, todo esto yo lo sé, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero, este, créame que son... A mí me gustaba regalar, no, más que todo, compartirles a mis, a mis alumnos, así presenciales, darles un folleto donde están todas las formas, todos los tiempos. Y créanme de que con, con ese, ese folletito que yo le, 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 este, lo tenía, no, yo creo que, creo que por ahí ando ese archivo, tal vez lo comparto un día de estos. Este, ese archivo, créanme de que lo deja con dolor de cabeza. Pero por lo digo ahorita, let's try to understand simple present. Como les decía, habemos, habemos, le digo porque a mí me pasaba que yo no entendía. Yo decía, Dios mío, ¿cómo es que este, este compañero, esta compañera pueden identificar el presente, el pasado y el futuro? Entonces, acuérdese que eso es algo que usted lo mira fácil, pero a la hora de aprender un lenguaje, a, a mí me costó. Es bien difícil. O sea, ahí yo admiro a la gente que, que a usted se le hace fácil, ¿verdad? Este entender todos los temas, pero hay pers habemos personas que si nos cuesta. Por eso yo estoy tratando de revisar y do uh, double check with you guys if you are getting the, the ideas, the concrete ideas, right? In order to express yourself in a better way. Because otherwise you will be like, oh my goodness. No sé si le pasé lo que le comentaba o le, <laughs> lo que le he comentado siempre que cuando empezamos a hablar, como le repito, don't get me wrong, All right, but a mí me pasó que empezamos a mumbling, mumbling así como a, como a, a tutubiar, ¿verdad? Y, y empezamos a, 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 a la muletilla, ¿verdad? Entonces es porque no hay ideas concretas todavía. Entonces cuando usted dice, ah, ahorita, ahorita le voy a, voy a hablar con mi familia, simple present, o sea, o... Oh, Simple, uh, simple past, simple future, identificando cada, cada tiempo, al mismo, al, al mismo tiempo, valga la redundancia, identificando esa, esos, esos puntos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, usted se levanta en la mañana, ¿verdad? Tocando las daily routines, simple present, usted dice, oh my goodness, I just wake up, oh, I have to go to the gym, but first, I need to take a shower, and I need to relax a little bit, at least five minutes or 10 minutes, you know, meditating. And then I have to feed my pets, right? Si tiene, si tiene mascotas, pues, dice, I have to feed my pets. Uh, then I have to, I have to cook my, my breakfast. 
and I have to, and I need to eat. All yeah. right, so, and I need to eat. So, yes. So, what I'm trying to tell you is that, right, that you need to understand simple present, simple past, simple future. All right, so, and then, usted empieza, empieza, empieza a hablar. Si yo le digo, uh, let's see, déjeme ver quiénes están por acá. Vamos a ver. Okay, uh, Laura, Raquel, Navarrete, Rivera, tell me, tell me a sentence where you apply simple present. Repeat the chat. Uh, yes, tell me a sentence with simple present on it. Una oración en simple presente, con simple presente. In English, of course. I, I, I drink a coffee. I drink coffee. I drink a cup of coffee. All right. I drink. No. Uh, <laughs> yes, a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Give me one second. Just a moment. Translator. Hold on. All right. Coffee. See? So every time that you have uh, any doubt, any doubts about the pronunciation, remember about pronunciation and everything, go check. Eso no es ningún crimen. Usted solamente se regresa. A mí ahorita se me había olvidado si llevaba doble, doble E, eh, coffee. Y me vine para acá para cerciorarme, ¿verdad? Café. ¿Verdad? Okay. Entonces... Okay. Ajá, entonces nos venimos y mira que está, lo había puesto bien. So, pero te, si tiene dudas, no, don't worry, okay? I drink a cup of coffee every morning. Every morning. All right, so I drink a cup of coffee every morning. All right, so remember, try to use I, you, she, it, he. They, we, all right. So, no solo, solo, no solo nos vayamos a I, I, I. Yo estoy, lo, lo dicen bien. Lo que sucede es que eh, si usted no, no, no empieza a, us, a utilizar el you, el he, el she, el they, el we, vamos a estar como, eh, ¿cómo le digo? No avanzando. No avanzando. Usted va, va a estar solo, solo limitada que I, 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 I. ¿Y, y qué pasó con, con they? ¿Qué pasó con, con she? ¿Qué pasó con he? ¿Qué pasó con we? O sea, hubiera sido bonito, ¿verdad? Los, la, los ejemplos me los han dado bien. No se preocupen. Pero que me diga, we drink a cup of coffee every morning. Uh, they ate pupusas yesterday with their family. Ahí cambia todo. With their family. Uh, she play, she like to play soccer or he like to play soccer every day. All right. So, así. Pero eso solamente es un, eh, como un toquecito para que no se le olvide esa parte, ¿verdad? Que tenemos que uh, aprender ese, ese proceso, ¿verdad? Entonces, simple present, remember, yo sé que usted ya lo sabe. ¿Cuál es el simple present? Deben preguntarle a, vamos a ver, a Jocelyn. Geraldine, tell me the structure about simple present. Dígame la estructura del simple presente, por favor. Is subject, mm -hmm. verb, complement. Excellent. Verb, complement. All right. So, entonces. Como le vuelvo a repetir, don't get me wrong, no me malinterprete. Uy, teacher, 
le cayó mal el fin de semana, viene bien enojado porque nos está regañando. No, no, tampoco. Pero yo le digo, si ya sabemos la estructura, tratemos de aplicarla. ¿Verdad? Tratemos de aplicarla. Entonces, ¿cuál va a ser? Si ya sabemos que es subject, verb, and complement, entonces usted tiene que empezar a, a, a utilizar esos términos, ¿verdad? Ok, so, ahorita le, let me talk, let me ask, uh, let me ask, uh, let me ask him a question. I'm going to ask him something that is related to the topic, ¿verdad? Entonces empieza, y si se fija, usted ya va utilizando otro vocabulario, entonces, y empieza, ok, today, Mr. Escamilla, I went to the market to get some groceries. Oh, really? Yes. I went with my family. I went with my husband, my wife, my, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, whatever, my friend, my sister, my brother. So I went uh, to get some groceries. All right, so today I, today, let's see, I play basketball with my friends at work. Qué bonito fuera, ¿verdad? Que en el trabajo se jugara basquetbol, ¿verdad? Perdón. Juega basquetbol en los números que tiene que dar uno como, como trabajador. Entonces, y así sucesivamente, ¿verdad? Pero lo que yo quiero que usted diga, ok, I like to see, I like to tell you, I like to express, I I want to do this. En ese caso, sí, usted aplica el I, ¿verdad? El I. Pero si ya sabemos el subject, verb, and complement, mis niños, mis niñas, créame de que si usted lo aplica, se le va a hacer más fácil. Al principio le va a costar. Al principio le va a costar, ¿verdad? Pero ya más adelante, créame de que a usted no le, va, no le va a suceder. O sea, en absoluto, usted va a participar todo el tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, si yo le digo a Carla Melissa... Good evening. How are you doing tonight? Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Very good. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm doing good. Do, doing good. Thank you so much for asking. Hey, do you eat pupusas yesterday? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I did. I did. <laughs> okay, okay, very good, very good. Hey, uh, how's work today? How's work? Good, bad, or how was it? ¿Cómo estuvo el trabajo? How's work? Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Yo descansé ahora. <laughs> uh, today was my day off. Today is my day off. What? Uh -huh. so today, today was... My day off. All Today right. was, was my day off. Yes, my day. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Excellent, excellent. And you have to work tomorrow? No. <laughs> oh, you have one day? I mean, two days in a row. Two days. Two days off. Oh, okay, excellent. Very good. So you have to work till Wednesday. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. And what do you do for work, uh, Carla? If it's possible to know. What do you do for work? Because I'm a, I'm a teacher. What do you do for work? I am a typist. Oh, typer. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent. You see? So, so far, so good. You understood everything. All right? So, así se suavecito. Me entendió. Paso a paso, me entendió todo lo que le estaba preguntando. Lo que sucede es que we need to talk. We need to talk. So now, let's see. Le voy a preguntar al que tiene la cámara apagada ahorita. Vamos a ver. Y el que esté más enojado ahorita. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Teresa de Jesús García. Are you there? Se encuentra por aquí, Teresa de Jesús García. Remember, you need to have your cameras on all the time, guys. All right, Teresa. Tell me at least... Uh, let's see, se lo voy a poner acá para más fácil, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Sí, me está escuchando, mi estimada Teresa. Yes, no? Ok. Vamos a ver con otra persona. Vamos a ver. 
Eric Alejandro, welcome. Eric, tell me, yo sé que ya, ya sabe parte de esto, ya usted ya lo sabe, solo es un review de la unidad que estamos haciendo, ¿verdad? Pero con lo que usted mira acá enfrente, eh, aquí en la pantalla, mi estimado Eric, tell me your daily routines, ¿cómo lo acomodaría todo usted esto? Pero vaya poniéndomele las cosas bonitas, ¿verdad? El conectores y lo que usted crea conveniente para terminar. ¿Cómo empezaría? Ok. Um, I wake up at 7 a.m. Uh -huh. uh, then brush tea. Uh, uh, then take a shower. Um, before uh, have breakfast. Uh, I go to my work at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. Then I start working at 8 or 9 a.m. And then I have a lunch. And then... Uh, Then go, my, go back home, arrive at home at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then I start class English 8 p.m. Excellent, excellent. Very good, right on. Very good, very good, uh, Eric. All right, so remember, we need to use then, but also before, after, and uh, what else besides, besides, uh, we need to use what else? That's it, right? Por el momento estos. All right, then, but also before, after, and besides, all right? So, Why, why? Because uh, remember, your, your information, you will sound better than before. Your expressions, will be, I, mean, I mean, your information that you are talking about, in this case, uh, Eric, uh, Eric just mentioned something about the daily routines that he does every single day. So we need to be more clear, all right? Uy, bien enojado. No, 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 vengo enojado. Tranquilo, tranquilo, tranquilas, ¿verdad? Yo solamente le estoy diciendo para que se le vaya agarrando, se le vaya oyendo el de inglés más bonito. Y para que usted diga, un momento usted diga, a mí nunca, hay, hay, habemos alumnos que así, así, así hablamos, ¿verdad? A mí nunca me dijeron eso. Es. Y no es así, ¿verdad? Yo estoy tratando la manera para que usted tenga un mejor desenvolvimiento. Pero you did good, you know, we need to practice. That's one of the reasons that we need to practice all the time. All right, so let's see. Uh, uh, Jenny, please tell me same thing that you, the, the, the same thing that Eric uh, did. Please try to inform, try to try to identify and try to add the connectors that I just sent you to the to the chat. All right, so and deme ahí la mejor la, la mejor eh, información de usted Jenny. Are you there, Jenny? Yes. ¿Qué se hizo, Jenny? Okay. I wake up at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. Then I get up uh 7. Mm -hmm. uh, after I brush my teeth. And take a shower. And I get dresses. Mm -hmm. Beside, I have my breakfast. Mm -hmm. And I know this. Dele, 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 dele. No le falta ahí. And after I take a bus. Mm -hmm. And I go to my work. 
Ah, no, no está. I go to my work, but... No, pero está bien. Ah, dígame. Sigue, sigue. Ok. Eh, es que me perdí. No sé si lleva un orden o... No, o sea, es lo que usted hace. O sea, acuérdese que es lo que usted, es lo que usted hace. Ah, o yo sea, pensé que tenía que seguir la figurita. Jefe. No, cada quien hace sus, sus, sus uh, ah, okay. da da daily routines like the way you want, all right? Because in my case, it's totally, totally different. You know, I wake up, okay. I relax a little bit, and I'm uh, checking my, 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 my cell phone, you know, in, Oh, yeah, and I'm like, oh, tomorrow, I mean, to, I have to work an hour, I, 30, I mean, 10 more minutes, 50 more minutes, y así vamos, ¿verdad? Y hasta que, mm -hmm. hasta como que se agarra usted la orejita y dice, levantate ya, que ya es hora. Okay. Entonces, ese es my, my case, all right? And then I have to feed my pet, I have to clean up the, the patio, all right, or, the, or the, the jar. I have to feed my pets, I have to prepare my breakfast. And I have to get ready because I'm working from home. I have to get ready, you know, with my uh, tools. In this case, my my computer. I have to turn on the computer. And what else? Let's see. And I have to prepare my coffee. All right. And that's it. You know, and then I have to work eight hours from seven o'clock to, I mean, from eight o'clock to 5 p.m. All right. And then I have to take a shower again. I go to sleep a little bit and I have to teach classes at eight o'clock, guys, you know, and that's the reason that I'm here with you. All right. So, pero si fijo, lo mío es bien diferente a lo suyo. Entonces, de, de, de ley otra vez. Vamos a ver. You can do it. Es que me risa. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? All right. Why are you laughing? All right. Si quieres mejor déjeme ver. Vaya, vamos a pasar a vamos a pasar a otro. Ya no hice reír Jenny. Vamos a ver. Este quiero ver. Eh... Jose Derek, Jose Derek Mejia, please go ahead and tell me your best information about your daily routines. Dígame su mejor información acerca de las rutinas diarias. All right, so go ahead. Yes, I wake up 6 a.m. 6 a.m., sorry. And, and after get up i sit at the i am take a shower and before brush brush uh, and after get, up, get i get dressed i night night i am i have breakfast and Take a coffee. Mm -hmm. And after is uh, go in my work. Yeah. And 12 p.m. I have dinner. Okay. Next, next um, I have my class I take my class English yeah okay mm -hmm. and and after sleep then 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 at three then yeah okay excellent excellent all right let's see uh who, who else wants to participate who else wants to participate Levántame la mano quien más quiere participar o lo paso yo. Vamos a ver aquí, pues no quieren participar. Vamos a ver. Angela, please. Hi, teacher. Yes. ¿Quién me dijo hi por allí? ¿Quién dijo Angela. hi? Oh, Angela, you see. Ok, uh, Angela, go ahead, tell me. 
ay ayan ang um... Aha. Dígame. Then um uh, take a shower. Mm -hmm. Um have breakfast. Um take a bus. Mm -hmm. And um work. Do me um study English. Mm -hmm. Um um Bruce Bruce Ted. Mm -hmm. Uh, go back home. Okay, mm. excellent. Excellent, very good, very good. Thanks. So, so let me ask you this, guys. This question is for everybody. All right, what was the last topic? No, yeah, what was the last topic that we checked together? <clears throat> Anybody can tell me that? What was the topic that we checked or that we had previously? I mean, last week. What was the last topic? Um, need to and have to. All right, very good. So remember all the topics that we are using or that we are practicing at this moment, you need to remember about that. ¿Verdad? Como le digo yo, yo quiero que empiece a, a sonar de una manera diferente. Como le digo, usted lo está diciendo excelente y yo le entiendo. Pero va a venir un, un nativo y él no le va a entender. Nomás empieza usted a hablar, le va a decir, ¿qué? ¿Qué? Así, y así le hablan a uno. ¿Qué estás hablando? ¿Qué dijiste? Pero en inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, yo les pongo un ejemplo. Muy, en mi caso, hace poco hice una llamada. Pero yo creo que ni, si solo le dije mi, mi introducción al cliente, ¿Verdad? Solo le dije, o sea, la introducción es cuando usted llama, ¿verdad? Y, porque yo llamo a los clientes, pero y le, y le digo, hello, good morning, this is René, with, eh, y le digo el nombre de la compañía, calling on behalf of this company, regarding your home protection warranty, le digo yo así, ¿verdad? Y me dice, de entrada me dijo el, 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 el muchacho este con el que me, me hablé, me dice, no habla español, me dijo. Imagínense, o sea, me identificó mi acento. Y yo trato la manera de tener un acento, un acento así suavecito, pero es que no soy nativo. No soy nativo, se oye, pero golpeadón, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que es lo que le quiero decir yo, que yo no quiero que usted pase, no vergüenzas, ¿verdad? Porque eso, eso paso a paso usted lo va a ir agarrando. Y ahí es de que, usted sabe que uno de, de, de errores, uno, uno de errores uno entiende, aprende muchas cosas, ¿verdad? Entonces, este... Si el tema fue have to and need to, ¿dónde cree que puede aplicar el have to aquí, guys? En esta, en, en esta daily activities. Um, go to the school. Mm -hmm. ah. to go to the school. Go to ah, the school. Ah, exacto. Very good. You see? Entonces ahí, va, ahí usted va creando ya la oración y le va dando más sentido a lo que usted está hablando. Entonces digo, I have to go. To school. Then I have to take a break because I need to eat something. All right. So I need to eat. I need to eat something. All right. Need to have to. O sea, usted vaya dándole ahí sentido o forma a lo que se mira más conven no conveniente, sino a lo que tiene más lógica. De, si ya sabe que have to es que yo tengo y que need to es yo necesito, póngalo ahí y qué cree, qué cree que usted tiene, tiene qué y qué necesita qué. Por ejemplo, tengo que cepillarme los dientes, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí usted le, le aplica, I have, to, I have to brush my teeth. All right, so, and besides, usted dice, and I need to take a shower, you see? Pero no, no, ya, ya, no, ya, no me, ya no me hable y me diga, este, eh, o sea, me, 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 lo están, me lo están diciendo y como le digo, no me lo tome a mal, solo ahorita es mejor que se equivoque acá y no haya en la vida real, ¿verdad? Pero 
no me, no me lo, no, no solo me diga, eh, wake up, eh, get, get up, tease, shower, and bath, take bath. Yo le voy entendiendo lo que, lo que, o sea, sería ilógico que no le entendiera la secuencia que lleva acá, ¿verdad? Pero eh, espero y le, le sugiero que tratemos la manera de empezar a usar todas esas clases, las clases y vayamos haciendo el, las conexiones como deben de ser, ¿verdad? Para que usted tenga una mejor expresión. Elmer, please tell me your daily activities, please. Go ahead. Okay. Normally, I get up at six. After that, I take a shower and I eat my, my breakfast. After that, I go to work. At noon, I eat my lunch. In the afternoon, around 6 p.m., I finish my work. Then okay. I then I go I come back home and I prepare my dinner and fin finally I go to sleep. Excellent, very good, very good job. You see, Mr. Elmer just mentioned some que que le escucharon eh, no difer sí, diferente a las otras a las otras eh, los otros ejemplos los otros las otras prácticas que le escucharon de extra a Elmer. ¿Quién me puede decir que él mencionó tres de ellos? No, y, y es, y es, usually. Ah, ¿y, qué, ¿Y qué son esos? What topic is that? Anybody can tell me that? What topic uh, is that? Adverse frequency. Adverse of frequency, right? All right, so, entonces, se va dando cuenta. Él dijo, normally I wake up at seven or six o'clock. Six. Six o'clock. Then I take a shower and I eat my, my breakfast. Dijo él, ¿verdad? Hubiera sido mejor que le hubiera dicho, and I have to take my breakfast. I have to eat my breakfast with my family. But before I before I should cook my breakfast. All right. And then I enjoy my breakfast with my family. Uh, y, y empezó a hablar él, ¿verdad? De su trabajo y al final mencionó normally, usually, eh, no sé qué otro, pero mencionó tres. Entonces, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. That's, you, that's what you have to do. All right? So, créanme de que a veces uno dice, yo no voy a aprender a hablar. No, 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 no. Si voy a aprender lo que sucede, ¿de qué? Nosotros tenemos que practice, practice, practice. Let's see. Uh, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Anybody else want to participate? O lo, o lo, o lo, lo elijo yo. Bueno, como no quiere participar, yo lo, yo lo voy a elegir. Vamos a ver qué tiene la cámara apagada. Elmer, Alexander Tejada, Samayoa, please. Tell me. Tell me your daily activities with simple present and with the connectors. All right. Try to be the best. I wear up at 5 a.m. I need I need my I need my shower. Mm -hmm. I brush my teeth. I ride on my chair. I have my breakfast. My breakfast. Mm -hmm. And then I leave for work. I'm I take my lunch at twelve. I leave work at at five mm -hmm. at five p.m. And some of the time I I low 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 on to English. ¿Cómo se dice? Este, me conecto a las, a veces me conecto a las clases. Sometimes, I love on to sometimes, sometimes, I get, sometimes I get sometimes. connected, sometimes, a uh, veces. Uh, sometimes um, I love on, on to in English class at 8 p.m. And 
go to sleep at 11 p.m. Okay, excellent. Very good, very good, very good. Ahí vamos, ahí vamos, all right? So, little, you see? little by little. Little by little, yes. Ahí vamos, ahí vamos. No worries, no worries. But the thing that you need to do, guys, is practice, 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 all right? So, allá le dije yo la vez pasada. No, que yo no tengo con, con, con quién hablar inglés. Hable con el, con el espejo. Usted solo hable. Y así, se va a ver un poco así medio raro, ¿verdad? Pero usted póngase a hablar con el espejo y ya va a ver que va a interactuar con usted mismo, ¿verdad? Usted dice, hey, hello, how are you? Good, and you? Y empieza a hacer preguntas, a hacer preguntas. Pero tiene que practicar, practicar, All right? So, let's see. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién más está por acá? Que está con la cámara apagada. Vamos a ver. Teresa, yo creo que no, no, está, no está por acá. Ya le pregunté una vez. Teresa. Vamos a ver. Ah, Rosa del Carmen, please. Be my guest. Rosa. Okay, Jocelyn, please. Go ahead. Try to try to be or try that. Yeah, try to be the best now. Jocelyn, go ahead. Okay, um, I get up, well, normally, I usually, I wear up, wear up at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. Normally, um, between get up, per, perdón, I usually, between brush teeth, Take a shower um six AM in six thirty. Mm -hmm. Is I start work at eight AM. Mm -hmm. I finish work at six PM. Very good. Very um good. also perdón. Um yeah, go finally, ahead, go ahead. finally, and I have English. Mm -hmm. and finally, take a din dinner mm -hmm. at seven o'clock. Um, and I have English class eight p.m. Excellent. I go to be at eleven. O'clock. Yeah. Eleven o'clock. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. So far, so good. You're doing. You're doing a great job. Okay. No worries. So remember, we need to use more information. More information about it. Okay. So, uh, let's see, Jenny. Please tell me. Okay. I wake up at six o'clock, and I brush my teeth and I take a shower. Then I'm going to my work at nine o'clock. And I have to my lunch 1 p.m. Uh, also, I finish my work at six o'clock. Um, besides, I I go to, I have to go to the university, mm -hmm. uh, but on Tuesday, some, all, all Tuesday, then I, I have to my dinner while, while, and I recite my English class. Mm -hmm. After I take a shower, then I go to my bed. Excellent. Very good job. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Jenny. Uh, let's see. Marvin, please be my guest. Go ahead. Uh, I'll, I will I will, uh, get at uh, five so close. Um, normally, um, brush 
Tinch, eh, Tecachauer, Amster, eh, Take It a Bus, eh, Normal, It's, eh, it's Lush, eh, Tuel o Close, eh, Amster, es, Um, watch TV um, uh, um, Afternoon y uh, Study uh, Ace o Close mm -hmm. y Go to Bed uh, 12 All right, thank you so much, Marvin. Let's see. All right, Carla, please be my guest. Go ahead. Um, yeah. um, I usually wake up at 5 a.m. Then I get a, I then I wake up and I brush my teeth and take a shower. Then I get dressed and I go to work. Then I have a breakfast at 8.30 a.m. And I continue work, okay. working. Mm -hmm. And I have a lunch at 11 p.m. And I finish work at 3 p.m. And I go to home. All right. Very good, very good. Just one thing, uh, Carla. You said that you have your lunch at 11 p.m. or a.m.? P.m. Lunch. 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 We usually take lunch at, at noon, right? And 11 is a.m. still. Or I don't know if you take your lunch after these classes. No sé si toma su, su, su almuerzo después de esas clases. Eso fue lo que le escuché yo, no sé. Si me, si me está escuchando, mi estimada Carla. 11 p.m. 11 p.m. Bye. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. All right. David, tell me. Okay, teacher. My daily routine begins when I take my up and get up. Uh, after I make breakfast um, for my father. Uh, But at first, I take a shower and brush, a bru I brush a bed. Uh, I, I need to I need to go to a work. Uh, I, 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 I eat a lunch. Uh, I, I always go, go to back home. Uh, I... Uh, after after I have a dinner, uh, finally I go to I go to sleep. Sleep. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Laura. Please be my guest. Go ahead. I am. I get up at five in the morning. I send my daughter, daughter to school. Mm -hmm. I take a shower. I I make a breakfast. I 
I I brush my teeth and I go to work at eighteen eighteen o'clock. Mm -hmm. Um I go I go to work. Mm -hmm. I I I have a lunch at uh, 12, 12, half, 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 I no sé si se dice finish no the work uh -huh. I finish my work yes I finish my I work finish my work at six six p.m. in the afternoon I return at home and in and a star English class. Okay, excellent. In the very, good. very good, very good, very good. Understood. All right. So let's see. Uh give me one second. Let me just stop the recurring here. I'm sorry, the the sharing part. Give me one second. Let's see. Okay, give me one second. <laughs> remember guys that we uh measure your i mean your attendance by having you come i mean by ha by having your camera on and the time that you are in classes right so se miden las clases recuérdese de eso el tiempo que usted está acá o sea si usted solo me contestó la primera hora y me me, me dijo presente cuando pasé lista Y se va, el sistema le, le mide este el, el poco tiempo que ha estado. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, aquí tengo eh, el sábado, pues el sábado, perdón, el, el, la clase pasada tuvimos a una persona que solo estuvo 72 minutos. Otra estuvo 113 y son 120, acuérdense. Otro estuvo 117, otro 117 y otro 108, ¿verdad? Porque se salen o están con la cámara apagada. Acuérdese de eso. Eso le afecta al final de su, este, ¿cómo se dice? De, de su curso, ¿verdad? Para obtener el otro, el otro espacio. Ok. Adriana Ernestina Contreras Godínez. Thank you. Andrea Mariana García Torres. Andrea Mariana García Torres. As, uh, she's not here. A Angela Andres Jorge. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Claudia Noemi Carca Molara. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Armando Rivera. Present. Thank you, sir. Elmer Alexander Tejada Samayoa. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Elmer Antonio Hernandez Chicas. I'm here. Thank you, sir. Eric Alejandro Paul Flores. Present. Thank you, sir. Gladys Teresita Díaz Álvarez. Present, teacher. Jenny Raquel Figueroa Samaro, uh, Zamora. Present, teacher. I'm sorry. Lo voy a poner uh, a hacer planos. Sí, voy a hacer planos, perdón. All right, uh, Miss Zamora. Okay, let's see. Jocelyn Geraldine Evangelista Castro. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jorge David Zuniga Padilla. Present, yeah, Jose. Oh, Jose, I... perdón, Jose David, Dios mío. Jose David Zuniga Padilla. Padilla. All right, Carla Melissa Martinez Cruz. Present. Thank you. Laura Raquel Navarrete Rivera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mario Roberto Alfaro Peña. Present. Marvin Wilfredo Martinez Puquirre. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Nixon Jose Derek Lemus Mejia. Present, sir. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen Rojas Perez. Rosa del Carmen Rojas Perez. She's not here. Uh, Saavedra de la Cruz Mendez de Rivera. Thing. Thank you. Teresa de Jesus Garcia Coto. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. And William Alonso Rubio Moreno. Present. Thank you, sir. So, si no le he mencionado, vamos a ver si no me han mandado nada al chat. Siempre me escriben. Aquí tengo un mensaje. Dice, estoy de oyente. Estaba aquí en Adriana. Mariana García. Ok, hold on. Adriana, Adriana. Ok. No problem. Ok, so let's continue with this. Uh, let me know if you're able to see what I'm sharing at this moment. Let's see. Okay. All right, are you able to see what I'm checking right now, guys? Yes? Yes, you should. Okay, excellent. Yes. All right, so. All right, yes. this, is a, this is a quick review from Unit 2, all right? So we are double-checking uh, Unit 2. And let's see. We already know the answers here, all right? And it says like this. Let's repeat. How often do you drink milk? Repeat. How often, How often do you drink, you drink milk? milk? I never drink milk. I am allergic to it. I never drink milk. I am sweet. Excellent. All right. So second, uh, please write that memo today. Please write the memo today. Okay. I have to. Uh, let's repeat. I have to wear glasses to read my English book. I have glasses. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Be careful. There is water on the floor. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Okay, thank you. Martha, Martha readily visits her mom because she lives far away from her. Martha, Martha rarely visits her mom because she lives far away from her. From her. From her. From her. All right, let's see. All right, so this is part of the, but basically it's part of the adverse of frequency, right? That we already know about it. Remember that you need to practice and try to remember all details from previous classes, right? Para que usted se le vaya haciendo un poco más, eh, o se le vaya extendiendo su vocabulario, acuérdese de las palabritas o los temas que hemos verificado juntos, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Uh, okay, let's repeat. My boss sends emails every day. My boss sends emails every day. Okay, my co-workers have meetings on Fridays. My co-workers have meetings on Fridays. All right, my, bo my boss writes reports daily. My, my, my boss writes reports daily. daily. I have a meeting weekly. I have, I have a, a meeting, meeting weekly. weekly. People at work go to conferences yearly. People at work go to conferences yearly. All right. So, ¿cuál era el tema este? Yearly, week, weekly. ¿Cuál es el nombre del tema? Daily. ¿Cuál es el nombre...? De ese tema que vimos anteriormente, anteriormente. Tienen sus apuntes, ¿verdad? Me imagino que tienen sus apuntes. Solo le hago para... Lo, lo estoy como... Le pregunto para ver si se acuerda. 
¿Cuál era el tema donde, donde mencionábamos weekly, daily? Daily. Eh, yearly. Other, other frequency. Mm, no. Time. Time expression. Expression of time, right? All right, so very good, very, very good, very good, very good. Okay, let's see. All right, let's repeat. Uh, Mario doesn't like working on Saturday. Mario doesn't Mario like doesn't working, working on Saturday. 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 All right. My friend, my friends don't eat lunch together. My, my friends friend don't, don't eat, eat lunch, lunch, lunch together. 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 One more time. Together. 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 Acuérdese que es la TH together. siempre se suaviza, ¿verdad? Together. 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 Así. Así. Together. Así como lo acabo de escribir, mire. Pero esa es la pronunciación. Together. Exacto. Together. Esa es la pronunciación. Together. 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 Yeah, together. Pero se escribe así, ¿verdad? Together. Hold on. To together, verdad? All right, so let's repeat. Uh, how much do how much do you want? 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 Come on, how much do you want? How much do you want? Do you want? How much, uh, Elmer Alexander? How much do you want for your car? How much do you want for your car? Acuérdense que es una pregunta, hagamos de, asumamos, ¿verdad? De que yo le, le quiero comprar un carro a usted y, y usted me lo va a vender barato porque soy, soy su profesor, su, su, su amigo, Cherada, y me lo va a dar barato. Entonces yo le pregunto, Elmer, how much do you want for your car? What would, be your, what would be your answer? ¿Cuál sería su respuesta? Take mute. Está en mute. No, no, no se escucha. Okay. Cos a... Cos... Cos a to send. 82 cents. 82 cents. Very good. So let's deal. Let's make the deal. 82 centavos. Yo me llevo el carrito. Ahorita lo voy a traer. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. So probably you mean $8,000. $8,000, right? So, all right. So that probably it is the, the, the price, right? So let's see. Uh, vamos a ver. Soveida, how much do you want for your book? How much? Um, ¿Cuánto quiere por su libro? Veo que tiene, está vendiendo como cinco en la en el, en, en el Facebook. All right, so, y como yo soy su, 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 su amigocho, ¿verdad? So, somos cheros. Usted me dice, yo le digo, hey, Sobeida, how much do you want for your book? How much? Five dollars? All right, I want... I want five dollars. Así es sencillo. I want five dollars. All right. So very good. Very good. No problem. Let's see. Um, uh, Laura, how much do you want for your shoes? Uh, my shoes cost. Yes. 
How much and do you want for your 20, shoes? Twenty twenty five dollars. $25, okay, very good, very good. I'll call you tomorrow, all right? So, but I want it, all right? So, Elmer, how much do you want for your cell phone? I want $500 cash, no credit. $500 for your cell phone? Yes, of course. Oh, my goodness, too expensive, brother. Oh, my God, it's $500. It... It's an iPhone or? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, my bad, my bad. All right, very good, very good. $500, I give you $400. And let's okay. let's close the deal. Deal? <laughs> yes, deal. deal. Okay, deal, very good, very good, very good. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. David, how much do you want for your sunglasses? How much do you want for your sunglasses? Sunglasses. Can you repeat, please? How much do you want for your song sunglasses? Sunglasses. Sun, no glasses, no regular glasses, sunglasses. No, 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 no comprendo, teacher. No. ¿Cuánto quiere por sus gafas? Ah, ah, ah. Perdón. Eh... I, I, es que no sé cómo es. Solo dígame el precio, o sea, que no, sí, no, sí. no, no se confunda. <ríe> Solamente, el, así, tranquilo, tranquilo, re, relájese, relájese. Yo sé que tiene las la ideas, pero va a haber un no, momento no, que, sí. va a haber un momento que de, de automático usted la puede contestar. Ahorita tiene muchas ideas que no están concretas, sí me explico, pero si yo le pregunto, how much do you want for your sunglasses, uh, David? Ah, uh, five dollars, ten dollars, simple. All right, so just like that, I how much? That. Yeah, five dollars, very good, very good. Mario, how much do you want for your computer, Mario? Um, like $200. $200, too expensive, yeah. brother, come on. I give you, <laughs> I give you $100 right now, if you want. Deal. Deal. Very good. All right. I call you tomorrow. Very good. Very okay. good. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jenny, how much do you want for your uh, motorcycle? I want to $200. No, I $2,000. $2,000. $1,000. Oh, my goodness. Too expensive, Jenny. Too expensive. I give you $1,000. Deal? What is deal? Deal, así como que trato o no ah. trato. Mm -hmm. Deal? Yes. Okay, very good. I'll call you tomorrow, okay, Jenny? And let's make the deal. Okay, uh, Carla, how much do you want for your house? Um, $10,000. $10,000, all right. Uh, okay, I'll call you tomorrow, all right? Let me think about it, okay? Thank you, Carla. William, how much do you want for your um, watch? Um, give me $10. $10. All right. Very good. I'll call you tomorrow. Thank you. Angela, how much uh, do you want for your AirPod? Your AirPod. Uh, uh, $100. One, uh, $100. Oh, my goodness. I give you <laughs> I give you $20. I give you $20. Deal or no deal? Trato o no trato? Yes. Sir. All right. I'll call you back tomorrow. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's repeat, everybody. Uh, I like going out on Fridays. I like going out on Fridays. You like to go out on Fridays, Elmer? Who, Elmer? 
uh, Elmer Antonio, do you like to go out okay. to, uh, on Fridays? Yes, I like. All right. Uh, what about you, Mario? Do you like to go out on Fridays? No, I don't. All right. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's see. Let me ask. Uh, David, do you like to go out on Fridays? Yes, I like. Okay, so Veda, do you like do you like to go out on Fridays? I don't. You don't? I okay. don't. No. Okay. Very good. Uh Marvin, do you like to go out on Fridays? Yes, I like. Okay, very good. Jenny, do you like to go out on Fridays? Don't. No, because you don't. I don't mm -hmm. have I have to work you on have Saturday. To work. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I understand that. I know your point. Let's see. Vamos a preguntar la otra persona por acá. Teresa, do you like to go out on Fridays? Teresa de Jesus. Okay. All right. No, you don't? Okay. Laura, Raquel, Navarrete, do you like to go out on Fridays? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Carla, Melissa, do you like to go out on Fridays? No, I don't. Okay. Angela, do you go out? Do you like to go out on Fridays? No, I don't. Okay. Elmer, do you like to go out on Fridays? Elmer, Alexander. I love, I love going out on Friday night. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. All right. Let's see who else is here. Uh, so I, I like out. boy teacher. <laughs> ¿Quién? Who said that? Who said that? ¿Quién, ¿Quién dijo que le gusta que le gusta ir le gusta salir los los viernes en la noche? ¿Quién dijo eso? Adriana. No, Adriana está hoy. Ah, fui yo. ¿Quién? Laura. Oh, Laura. Okay, Pero Laura. No, you... no, no puedo salir, estoy trabajando. Oh, okay. <laughs> I understand that. All right, yeah. Laura. You like to go out on Fridays? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Eric, do you like to go out on Fridays? Yes, I like it, teacher. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, let's repeat to everybody. My sister's friends don't eat meat. My sister's My friends, sister friends don't, 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 sister eat, friends don't, friends don't, don't eat meat. 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 Excellent, so excellent. Don't. All right, so what kind, of, what kind of food do you like, guys? I mean, let's see. Let me ask uh, Angela, what kind of food do you like? What kind of what kind of food? Me están peleando. All right, so. Mi papá está hablando. Lo siento. Okay, it's okay. All right, so what kind of food do you like, uh, Angela? Uh, uh, apple. Oh, you like apple, all right? What kind of food do you like, Soveda? What kind of food do you like? I like uva. No sé cómo se dice uva. Grape, grapes. Grape, grapes. Grapes. Repeat. Grapes. Grapes. Very good. Very good. Grapes. Uh, let's see, Mario. What kind of food do you like? Um, I like meats. Um, in soups. Soups, all right, very good. Let's see. Carla, what kind of food do you like? I like pupusas. Excellent, very good. My girl right there. Okay, William, Alonso, what kind of food do you like? I like Chinese food. Chinese food, very good. I love I love Chinese food too. All right, so kind of expensive, but it's good. Good, 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 good. Uh let's see who else. Uh Jenny, what kind of what kind of food do you like? I like the shrooms and Shrimp. all, almost all seafood. Okay, seafood. All right, very good. Elmer, Antonio, what kind of food do you like? I like to eat chicken and vegetables. Chicken and vegetables. Okay, very good. Excellent, excellent. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's repeat. My mother needs to go shopping. She doesn't have red shoes. Go ahead, repeat. 
My mother, my mother needs to go shopping. shopping. She doesn't have red shoes. Excellent. I have to study for English exam to get my American scholarship. I have to study for the English exam to get my American scholarship. All right, ahora yo pregunto. Uh, let's see, debo preguntar a Angela. ¿Qué me entiende? ¿Qué, ¿Qué me entendió de esta, de esta oración que acabamos de leer? Que yo tengo que estudiar para el examen de inglés. Uh -huh. Tengo en la escuela eh, americana. Aquí, hasta aquí llegó bien. Hasta aquí llegó bien. Le, le hizo falta esta uh -huh. parte acá. Dice, tengo que estudiar para el examen de inglés para obtener mi uh, American, mi scholarship, beca. Ajá, mi, mi, mi beca americana, sí. Very good. Excellent. All right, so. Beca americana. Oh. Yes, scholarship is la beca, sí. All right, let's repeat. You don't have to get up early if you don't want. You don't have to get up early if you don't want. All right, so, and let's see. Write a letter, use blue ink. Write a letter, use blue ink. Blue. Okay, check the report. Check the report. Check the report. Check the report. So, how many of you, how many of you guys make reports? At the place where you're working. Raise your hand. Levántame yeah. la manita. ¿Quién hace reportes en su trabajo? Levántame la manita. Who makes reports? Me. All right. All right. All right. Very good, Elmer. Just Elmer. Who else? Report. Do you guys understood the question? ¿Entendieron la pregunta? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, so solo solo yes. Elmer hace reportes. Okay, very good. Not, not a problem. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Elmer. Okay, let's see. Very good. All right. So, what ink do you like to use, um, Mario? What ink do you like to use when you are writing? I like black black ink. Black ink. Okay. What about you, uh, Carla? What ink do you like to use when you are writing a letter? Black ink. I like to use black ink. Okay, very good. Remember, remember that you need to answer the best as you can. Siempre acuérdese que tiene que contestar de la mejor manera que usted pueda. Entre más específico, no es que yo quiera saber, no. Pero entre más específico me puedan contestar, va a ser the best. All right? O sea, no, no, no es porque uno quiera saber, ¿verdad? Lo que usted está haciendo, lo que no hace. Pero usted me puede decir, I like to use black ink because... Uh -huh, I like to use black ink because uh, it looks better. I like to... I, yo conocía a compañeros que les gustaba escribir con rojo. Todo rojo. Como. Yo decía, Dios mío, yo decía... Yo solo, siempre usaba los, los tres colores, ¿verdad? Black, blue, and, and red. And the, and the red is going to be just for, just for uh, important things, right? Cosas importantes, ¿verdad? O se subraya. Anyways, let's see. Uh, Angela, what kind of ink do you like to use when you are read, uh, write, uh, writing a letter? Hmm. Uh, I like to use. I like, I like to, to use. Y me dice el color. Um, black. I like to use uh, black, uh, black color. Black, black color. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, black, black ink. I'm sorry, black ink. Black. black okay. Ink. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so, Veda, what kind of ink do you like to use? I like to use 
um, blue, eh, blue ink, blue ink, color break azul, it. Sí. Break, break it, break it, excellent, okay, excellent, one second, let's see. All right, let's see. All right, let's repeat. Uh, I have to pay the university matricule for study this semester. I have to I pay need, the I university have to pay the university matricule for this semester. Okay, excellent. Vamos a ver algo aquí. I underscore have underscore blank pay the university matricule for study this semester. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. I have pay the university matricule for study this semester. Let's repeat matricule. 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 Mm -hmm. Matricule. 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 Yes, give me one second. All right. All right, let's uh, repeat. Uh, this one is here, right? So they go, I mean, they need to go to the immigration center to get their passport. Come on, let's go. They, they need, 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 they need, 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 need to go to the immigration center, center to get their passport. 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 All right, one more time. They need to go to the immigration center to get their passport. They, they need to go to the immigration center to get their passport. Passport. Teacher center or center? Uh, ¿Dónde vamos? Center. Center, oh no, center, sí, 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 se escribe, eh, como le digo yo, nosotros como tenemos la R bien, bien marcada, ¿verdad? Nosotros decimos center, casi decimos centro, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? Pero si usted lo puede, usted lo puede pronunciar de la misma manera, all right, no hay ningún problema, pero lo mejor es que lo diga center, 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 center. Ah, pero puede decir, si usted lo quiere decir center, no hay problema. Sí, Ajá, pero yo lo. Sener, lo... Sener omitiendo la T. Exacto. Soy más despacio. Sener. Sener. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. And also, let's see. Let's repeat. She has to lose 20 pounds to wear her dress in the wedding. He has to lose to 20, pounds, 20 pounds, pounds to wear the dress in the wedding. 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 20 pounds. Pounds. Mm. Uh, she has to lose 20 pounds to, to wear her dress is... in the wedding. Yes, ahorita se lo ponemos por acá, vamos a ver. Permítame. She has to, right? She has to. Okay. She has to lose 20 pounds to wear her dress in the wedding. And the wedding, 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 wedding. 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 Mm -hmm. The wedding, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on one second. This moment. All right. Okay, we are reviewing, right? Uh, practically, uh, let's see. We are reviewing, you know, previous topics previous uh, information that you guys already know about it, right? So in this case, uh, over here, remember that we already checked this part, right? You need to, and we were checking 
um, address or frequency, right? So, ¿se acuerda que practicamos esto varias veces? Y aquí está John and Anne, okay? So, uh, let's see. Let's, uh, let me tell you, be, be my guest, please, right now. Let's see. Lo que, es, lo que veo bien enojado esta noche, no sé por qué están enojados, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a ver. Este, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Uh, Jocelyn, please. Jocelyn, ella está bien, bien contenta siempre, ella no está enojada. Ok, Jocelyn and um, Elmer Antonio. B. Elmer John and Jocelyn N. Go ahead. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours in you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday but usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call client? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Thank you, very good. Uh, Mario and Jenny, please be my guests, go ahead. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Thank you. Uh, David and Soveda, please go ahead. Be my guest. How often do, do you check your, your a e email? Every two words are you and you. Will I try to check is as uh, often as I can and how often do you call your clients? Uh, I often call things once a week on Monday book. I usually call them on Friday to check days order. Do you call clients? <clears throat> yes, I I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with the I the the time. You are right. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Let's see. All right. Let's repeat. Uh, always. 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 Usually. Always. Usually. 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 Normally. 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 Often. 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 Sometimes. 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 Uh, occasionally. 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 Seldom. 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 Ha hardly ever. Hardly ever. ever. Readily. Really. Never. 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 All right, let's see. All right, let's see. Uh, Angela and Jose Derek, please be my guest over here. Uh, please stand this podcast. Jose Derek? I think that was Jose. Are you there, Jose? No? Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, William, please be my guest. Help Angela. Please send this, this packaging. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes, please write a memo about the new day for the for general meeting. 
right away. Give me one of those memo okay. stickers, please. So, here you go, oh, and look. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, Carla, Carla and Jocelyn, please. I'm um, not, Carla and... Jocelyn ya participó, creo, no. <clears throat> bueno, Carla and Jocelyn, please. go ahead. Please send this package. Yes. Mm, Ma'am, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Ma'am, ma'am. Do, ma uh, do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right, away. Give me of of those memo a sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Excellent. Let's see. Thank you. Uh let's see. Uh Laura and Claudia Noemi. Please send these pictures. Yes, my aunt, do you need a new thing else? Actuality, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Write why. Give me one of two memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new intern. Absolute. Very good, very good. Okay, let's repeat everybody. Package. 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 Any, anything Package. else? Anything else? Anything, anything else. else. Actually. 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 General Actually. meeting. Right away. Right away. Right away. Supervise. Supervise. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, excellent. Excellent. All right. So we already checked this ones. All right, let's see. Um second let's see all right let's see who else is gonna help me over here uh david please be my guest with soveda come on let's go i really need the memo brief just a moment please i need to speak to mr wilson please eat very important Right away. Right away. Yes, let's repeat. Right, right away. away. Right, right away. away. Excellent, excellent. Right. Let's see. Uh, give me one second. Uh, Daniel. Daniel is here. And just bounce. Okay, let's see. Uh, Eric and... Eric Laura. Uh, I really need that memo, Bri. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. Please, it's very important. Right away. Excellent, excellent. Let's see. Uh, Mario, please read this paragraph for everybody. Okay. Uh, dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tax tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it, three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog catalog information for June. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send the two late, late, 
latest sales reports on May 26, and then write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it for hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you, best regards. Very good, very good. Elmer Antonio, uh, read that for me, please, for everybody. Okay. Dear Guadalupe, these are some of these tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the lead from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it. Three hours is day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for Jan. You have today to do it. One hour is day. It's very important to send the two late, latest cell reports. Oh. Twenty-six. You had two days to do it. Two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best regard, Daniel Ruiz. Very good. Very good. Let's see. Um, David, please be my guest. Go ahead. Go ahead, teacher. Yes, go ahead. From a sorry, what did they? Dale, dale. Right, there were a loop. Uh, these are some of the tags for this month. I really need you don't to contact the first their potential customer in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have their ties to it. Three, four, S dash. Call the Nick the new clients from the last year week and and give them the uh, then the catalog information for June. You have today to do it one for one or each day. It's very important to send the to Lester says report reports on the on the May uh, twenty six and the write a new income incoming letter for the new customer. You have one one day to to do it for for hours. Finally, visit the to store in in Santa Tecla you have today to do it uh, to to hold a guy organize it your week then you be regular Daniel Ruiz okay excellent very good very good all right let's see give me one second all right give me one second All right, let's see. Are you able to see what I'm checking right now, guys? Yes? Yes. Okay, excellent. <clears throat> All right, let's see. <clears throat> All right, let's see. So what we what we are missing here, uh, Jenny? What we are missing? ¿Qué nos falta acá en esta pregunta de simple present? Um... Are you feeling cold? Are you feeling cold? That is simple present. Everybody's agree. Are or would be do. Are. Uh -huh. Did are. you feeling or? 
Do you feel in call? It could be the, the two ways. Yes. Are you feeling cold? So, te estás sintiendo así con gripa, te estás, te sentías así que, ah, te, 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 te sentías enfermo. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. All right. It's very good. Okay. So, de, dígame un nombre ahí, Jenny, please. Mm -hmm. Carla. Carla, go ahead, Carla. Mm, what do you plan to eat tonight? Mm, what do you planning to eat tonight? No sería, what are you planning to eat? What are you? I mean, what are you? It could be both, both ways, but what are you planning to eat tonight? Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Dígame el nombre ahí, este Carlita, please. Mm -hmm. Elmer Antonio. Elmer, go ahead. Elmer. Creo que no. Se conectó mi estimado Elmer. Right, elíjame otro porque no, 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 no creo que se conectó mi estimado. O oh, Elmer. Está en mute. No. no le escucha nada, mi estimado. Vamos a ver, ¿alguien más puede contestar? Porque él me está como en mute. David Zúñiga Padilla. David, David. Are you thinking about... Are you, are are you, you thinking about going on holiday soon? Everybody's sí. agree? Mm -hmm. Are you... Me estás pensando sobre ir a... So, salir, uh -huh. uh -huh. exacto. Wow. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, so another one. Do you have a number A, Mr. David? Okay, teacher. Uh, Marvin Martinez. Okay, but I'm uh... Pero me quedé la ya salió. Bueno, y sale otra vez. All right, go ahead, Marvin. Uh, are people in your country or on Saturday? Are people in your country work on Saturday? Mm -hmm. what, will be the, what will be the answer, guys? Está bien lo que acaba de decir Marvin. Are people in your country work on Saturdays? The people. The people. The people, right? The people. Acuérdense que una pregunta. The, 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 the people in your country. La gente en tu país trabaja los, los sábados. Yes, right? Mm -hmm. Porque yes, no podemos right. poner they people or tampoco podemos poner there's people. Tampoco. ¿verdad? The people in your country works very good. Okay, so dígame el nombre ahí, este, mi estimado Mar eh, Marvin. Carla, Melissa. Carly, go ahead. Pero que en este caso si es do you drink a lot? Exactly, exactly. ¿Por qué lo identificó? Porque no tenemos el, el, el present continuous, right? A la par. O sea, que ese es como el hint, ese es como la clave, ¿verdad? Que usted aquí, si, si estuviera you drinking a lot of coffee, sería are you drinking a lot of coffee, ¿verdad? Entonces, ese como que es el hint, la clave, ¿verdad? Donde usted ya dice, ah, no, pues entonces aquí dice, do you drink a lot, a lot of tea? All right, let's repeat everybody. Do you drink a lot of tea? Do you drink, drink a, lot a, lot of... a lot of tea? Thank you, okay. A lot of tea, yes. Okay, Carly, go ahead. Deme, deme un nombre ahí. 
William Alonso. Okay, William, go ahead. Are you feeling cold? Are you feeling cold? No, I'm not. All right. ¿Cuál es la clave aquí? Miren, feeling. Este es el present continuous. ¿Cuál es el present continuous? ¿Cuál es el present ING? continuous? ING, ING right? Sí. ING. Excellent, excellent. All right. So, okay, uh, Edmer, go ahead. I'm sorry, William. <laughs> My bad. Dime Laura. 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 Vamos a pedirle otro. Ajá. Ok, Laura. No. No, las mismas salen, permítanme. All right, Laura, go ahead. Are we have many public holiday in Poland? No. No. Anybody can help Laura? Analicemos bien la pregunta, porque no podemos decir, no podemos tener dos dos sujetos al mismo al, al comienzo de la oración porque ahí me está diciendo are we ah no espere más hay hay we have many no ahí sería sencillo verdad do de solo do do we have many we have... public holidays in Poland Let's repeat. Do we have? Do we have many public holidays in Poland? Many public holidays in Poland. Okay, excellent. Very good. Okay, let's see. Dígame un nombre, un nombre ahí, por favor, este, mi estimada. Um, Mario Roberto. Mario Roberto. Okay, Mario. Go ahead, Mario. Uh, do you listen to music when you work? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Right. So let's see. Uh, so wait, that do you listen music when you work? Um, yes, listen music when you work. Acuérdese, acuérdese el, el tipo de pregunta, verdad? Siempre tengan en mente, cuando le, le pregunten, do you, ¿cuál va a ser la respuesta? Yes, I am. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, no, I don't. All right. So, that's it. Esas son las yes, no questions, right? O las simple, simple uh, las short questions. I mean, short answers. Do you listen to music when you work, uh, Marvin? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, Jenny, do you listen to music when you work? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, Elmer, do you listen to music when you work? No, I don't. Okay. Elmer Antonio, do you listen to music, uh, music when you work? No le escucha, Mr. Elmer Antonio. Okay, let's see. All right, let's see. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién me dijo que yes, I do, Elmer? Okay, thank you, Elmer. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Este... Uh, Daniel Armando Rivera, what would be the answer here? ¿Qué es lo que falta ahí en esa oración, Daniel? Daniel. What three things you do first? I mean, what three things? ¿Qué falta acá, Daniel? Ok, Laura, help me. Ayúdeme, Laura. ¿Qué falta acá? What three things? What three things? Y aquí falta algo. Puede ser if you. 
No, es que me suena haber visto algo así. What three things? Acuérdense que estamos hablando ahorita solamente del simple present y present continuous. El present continuous es el que ya sabemos todo, va el ING, el ING. Pero aquí qué falta? What three things? Ahí donde está el, el What three things do you do? do you do? Yes. What three things do you do first after you wake up? All right. So the last one. Okay, Laura, help me. The last one. Elíjame ahí alguien. Espérame, la misma le cayó. Ajá. Marvin. A otro, él ya, ya, ya participó. Daniel Armando. Daniel. Ahí there. Yo le, ya le pregunté a Daniel y, y no me contesta tampoco a mí. Ok. Eh, está de oyente. Ok. Ok. Anybody want to answer this one? What are you planning? What are you doing? What do you planning? What are, what are you planning, right? What are you planning? Mm -hmm. What are you Nine. planning? Acuérdense que el hint, el hint está en el ING. Cuando es así, pues acuérdense que usted ahí le va a poner el bird to be, ¿verdad? What are you planning to eat tonight? Okay, so... Very good, guys. Very good. Very good. Very good. So we just complete, you know, a quick um, review wins. All right. We just uh, complete the reviews uh, from Did each you como, stop. Que dijo de I, ING? ING. Bird to be. Nah, que ese, ese es el hint. Es como la, la ah, clave. Okay. La clave. ¿Verdad? Porque usted me dijo, ¿puedo usar los dos? No, porque ahí estamos haciendo un... Un desorden pequeñito, ¿verdad? Pero lo, lo más recomendable es que ustedes tengan esa parte ahí. What are you planning to do tonight? Porque no puede decir, what do you planning? No. What do you, porque sea, aquí, aquí no está diciendo a, a nadie, ¿verdad? Solo está diciendo hacia el aire. Y me, y me está diciendo usted a mí. What are you doing or what are you planning to do tonight, Mr. Escamilla? Y le digo yo a usted, I'm going to sleep. I feel tired. All right. Very good. Any questions, guys, before we go to sleep? Auxiliary, yes. El do auxiliary, yes, uh, mister. Eh, ahí se utiliza como auxiliar, exacto. Acuérdense que el do es como también es verbo. Do, no hay que tener, no hay que tener, un, hay que tener cuidado ahí, ¿verdad? Do auxiliary, do verbo. Okay, any questions, guys, before we go home? I mean, before we go to sleep? No questions? All right. No question. no question. Okay, no, no questions. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for your time. I see you tomorrow. God's will. Uh, sleep good. Rest good. And I see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of the night. Okay. Thank see you so you. much. I see, see you. you. Have a good night, guys. Have a good night. 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 I see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, good night, Emmerich.